I am Mary Johnston. Um, I live in Hartwell, Scotland. I am married to John. I've been for 43 years. Um, I have one son and a fat coat retriever named Rory. Um, I'm lucky enough I still have my mum. She's 89 and I have two sisters. I was diagnosed in May 2018. I had a routine mammogram. Um, didn't have any concerns at all, got recalled. That had happened before, so I was still worrying about it. Um, obviously when I went back, they did the biopsy, said it was breast cancer. Then fast forward a week, I had both scans and they said it was secondary. So I was de novo. I went right to, didn't have a primary, I went right to, to secondary. The diagnosis does impact your life. It, um, I would say it slows you down. You, you certainly can't do things that you used to do at the same pace. So I just have taught myself to do what I can, when I can, rest when I can, and pick up the next day. Second day breast cancer impacts your family because it's it's hard for them. That's that's the one of the hardest things that I find was is telling your family, helping them to understand it. Because when you're the person that's going through it, I think it's easier for you. It's harder for your family to, to watch that and and to deal with that. My husband's taking early retirement. Um, did that last year so that we can we can do the things that we, we want to do when I'm able to do them. At the beginning of the treatment started, it was a weekly treatment because it was a bit of a problem with the liver because it was diagnosed breast, liver and bone right away. Um, that was tough on a weekly basis. Then once the, the liver you know, recovered a bit, it went to three weekly, which was easier with the bone strengthener every four weeks. So it's, it's quite time consuming with the with that. Um, I've not had any trials, but in November 2021, um, I had a few slight headaches, just mild migraine that um, paracetamol took it away, went to bed, lay down. But because we were involved in the charity, the girls had always encouraged me to speak up, don't let anything go. So I spoke to one oncologist and I asked her to scan my brain. So I had an MRI scan and the result of that was brain mets. Um, I'm fortunate where I get my treatment, I was able to go to London um, to have gamma knife um, because that's not available in Scotland. Um, and it seems to have been successful. When I tell people I have secondary breast cancer, they they only really hear the breast cancer part and they don't understand the secondary. Even if you tell them it's treatable but not curable, they still don't grasp that. They think once you've had a treatment, then you'll be fine. I suppose because I look fine, that doesn't really help either the further you understand it, but definitely needs to be more awareness out there of of secondary breast cancer and not just breast cancer. I don't really think too far in the future, no. Um, obviously the plans that we did have for the future changed. We had hoped at one point to buy a small apartment abroad so that when we did come to retirement we were able to do it. So that that changed. It's every three weeks that just wouldn't work. You need to be back for treatment. So no, I just um, I don't think too much to, and make too many plans for the future. I think um, what keeps me going is family. Um, they, they keep me going. Um, I've got a lot of family and good friends that um, that help me, you know, through it, through the, the bad days. And when you have a bad day, you just have to lie down to it and then next day just get up and get on it, really. <laughs>